Weather cleared out today after a somewhat on and off rainy Thanksgiving, and we're going to see that kind of weather linger into Saturday, too. So just in time for things like stroll on state. We don't have to worry about any rain showers or cool weather just yet. That does come by the end of the weekend, so we just managed to dodge out on uh, some more rain showers, some more possible snow showers, and even some cooler weather. But thankfully, that won't arrive until Sunday. In the meantime, high pressure right overhead. That's why everything cleared out today. So we saw a lot of sun, and we'll continue to have that tomorrow as that high pressure drifts right over the Midwest keeping everything pretty quiet. Next weather makers are off to our south and to our north. These are going to combine by the time we get to Sunday to bring in some showers and some cooler weather, but uh, it's going to take a good 24 hours or so before that gets here. This is why we're talking about a pretty quiet forecast for the rest of this evening as well as tomorrow. You can see the temperatures will hover at about 40 degrees next couple hours and then get closer to freezing later tonight, but staying just at or above freezing. So not too cool over the overnight hours under a clear sky, quiet night ahead overall. And then for tomorrow, just like we saw today, some 50s back in the forecast, lots of sunshine, a little breezy out of the southwest when it comes to the winds. We do have to do, uh, talk about a little bit of a wind chill if you're going to be out at things like Straw on State in it tomorrow afternoon. But uh, hard to beat weather like this in late November. 50s during the time of the parade, that's about 2 o'clock. And then uh, tree lighting at 6, you can see fireworks at 8.30. Both of those looking cloudy and cool, uh, but that shouldn't necessarily slow anything down. Uh, just maybe need that winter jacket handy as you go into those evening hours, but there's plenty of things to warm you up over the course of the evening at Stroll on State. So a pretty nice forecast overall for that holiday festivity in just a little while from now. And then as we look towards Sunday, that's when the rain showers start to slide in. They uh, won't arrive until about five in the morning, starting out as rain. And as you can see, uh, possibly dodging the heaviest amount of rain, which stays to our south. We will continue to have on and off light rain showers and even possibly a couple snowflakes mixing in towards the end of Sunday morning. Then Sunday afternoon, we steadily dry out. Should be quiet by the time we get to Sunday evening and we'll go into next week with uh, quiet conditions too. Beyond that, we we'll have to keep an eye out for some cooler weather. As we get into early December, the pattern flips some, so we're getting the mild weather out and we've got at least a small chance of being below average, so feeling a little extra brisk towards the end of next week. So as we look towards the end of this weekend, 40s for Sunday, we'll see that again on Monday. Then the 50s could return one more time on Tuesday before another round of showers, possibly rain and snow between Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. And then after that, wrapping up November and heading into December with temperatures just above freezing in your most accurate 10 day forecast. Uh, December starting out not too cool. You can see some 40s in that forecast, but uh, definitely not uh, keeping that mild weather around for too long. However, it is December. At least we're not below freezing for several days to kick off the new month, will you? Yeah, can't be too upset. All eyes still on straw and state. Lovely 54 and sunnies there. Can't wait for it.